Hello everyone, Broken Mike here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 183, part 2. Now of course if you guys have missed any of the action in part 1, then do be sure to head on over and give it a watch. Now, as you can see, we're going to be kicking off part two with a tag team match from the men's division. And it will be the OG boys, Jim Boy and OG Nick, to be taking on the makeshift tag team of Keith Redfield and Casey Hoyt. Now, before we dive into the match action, if you guys do enjoy what you see here today, then make sure to leave the like for Mike. Hit any comments below and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Now that's said and out of the way, let's dive into the match action. Contest is a tag match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 456 pounds. The tag team division here is making their way to the ring first. Jim Boy and OG Nick, the OG Boys, and the former two time tag team champions getting set for some action here tonight. And Jim Boy, of course, who ended the unbeaten start to Keith Redfield's career. I'm looking to keep that run going here tonight. Here we go, guys. And their opponents, first from England, weighing in at 232 pounds, Keith on Earth. I have no idea and their opponents, the first, Keith. Redfield and Keith Redfield looking for some revenge here tonight after issuing an open challenge to to anyone in an in extreme rules match easy for me to say he fell short to the former hardcore champion Jim Boy and suffered his first loss in BUW this is his first tag team match. And he, I would say he had, couldn't have picked a better partner. He said he'll steal the show here tonight and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Keith Redfield with two wins and one loss in, in his start here to BUW. And his tag team partner, Casey Hoyt. And Casey Hoyt, what a tag team partner to choose for Keith Redfield. Casey Hoyt, a BUW original, a two-time tag team champion, a former global champion, a two-time 
Ruthless Rumble match winner. And Casey Hoyt with that size could prove problematic for the OG boys. And it's going to be Jim Boy and Keith Redfield starring it off. I saw a rematch from last week. And here we go. And Jim Boy trying to get out of a predicament right out the gates and oh, dishing out some harsh punishment there to Keith Redfield. And Keith able to get out of trouble. Oh, bump into our match official. And Keith with the Kimura lock. And Jim Boy immediately able to escape. And a nice net breaker from Redfield. And a couple of shots there from Redfield. And a nice takedown. And Jim Boy driving the knee into the back of the head. Trying to put Keith in his place. A nice suplex from, from Keith. Oh, look at the power on show. Sit down, power bomb. And Jim Boy rolls to the outside. The two pake on hero. It was just a glancing blow at best for Redfield. But he was still able to take down Jim Boy. And Jim Boy in the wrong part of town, you could say. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, and Key bouncing head first. Off the LED post. And Jim Boy trying to cheap shot the near seven foot Casey Hoyt. And Jim Boy tags in OG Nick. The former tag team champions seem to have things well in hand in this match up to this point. Keeps sent over the top rope. And the drop kick to the floor as Keefer's receiving some punishment. And look at Nick. Takes down Hoyt off the ring apron. Jim Boy sent back into the ring, even though he's not the legal participant. And no G Nick. Slamming. Keith onto the ring apron. Stomp on the face. Keith sent back into the ring. And Casey calling for a tag. He makes it. In comes the big man. And Jim in trouble here. Gets a clubbing blow for his troubles. And an inverted DDT from OG Nick. Look for a springboard. No one home. What a boot to the face. And there goes Nick across the ring. Now Casey tags in Keith. A nice float over, DDT. Nick into the cover. Just a one count. Oh, super kick. A kick to the back. In comes Jim Boy. And a boot to the head and he's busted open Redfield. And now he's turning his attention to Hoyt. Back suplex. Two pay con Hilo. More like two pay con no. And 
Jim Boy seems to be on a different level as of late. Taking out Keith, and Keith's holding his knee. Right hand. And back suplex. And the net breaker from Redfield. The lock up. Jim Boy puts on the brakes. Side slam. Now looking to target the left arm of Jim Boy. A stomp on the head. And again, a couple of shots to the face. And again, Keith goes crashing into the LED post. And Jim Boy taking more cheap shots to Hoyt. Takes him out of the equation. And the former tag team champions are rolling here. Drop kick from Nick who makes the tag. I'm picking apart the arm of Keith. Oh, counters. Couple of right hands. Oh, what's Keith going to do here? Power bomb. Oh, and he's going for it again. Another power bomb. And there's a tag. In comes Casey Hoyt. Oh, look at that strength from Hoyt. And OG Nick trying to back away. Driving the knees into the midsection. And there's a tag. In comes Keith. The locker. Oh look! Oh look at this! Overhead, belly to belly throw from Keith Redfield. Look at the state of Keith's face. Sit down, power bomb. And might have the tables have turned. Lock up, OG Nick. As Keith on the ropes. And using the ropes to injure the left arm of Keith Redfield. Springboard clothesline. Stomp to the knee. There's a tag to Jim Boy Keith. Barely moving. Takes down Keith. There's a cover. And a kick out after one. And that's one thing we've noticed so far in this match. Hasn't been too many pitfall attempts. And what is Jim Boy thinking here? Looking for that elbow drop. No one home. Sky high. Michinoku driver from Redfield. Stomp to the face. Tag to Casey Hoyt. And Jim Boy runs right into Hoyt. Who gets that thrown across the ring. Oh, and Casey may be looking to finish the job. Running power slam. There's the cover. And Nick in there imme almost immediately. To make the save, and there is Keith. Oh, Glasgow kiss. And Keith may be looking for the finish. Claymore. That could seal it. 
No! Jim Boy kicks out at two. I cannot believe it. Elbow to the, the face of Keith. It rolls to the outside. OG Nick back in. The lock up here. And Keith. What's he thinking? Powerbomb on the ring apron. Oh my God. He just swung him into the LED, into the LED board. And then sends him into the LED post. And Keith's not done. Powerbomb. Bouncing off the off the announce table. Back suplex. Gut wrench. Sit down. Power bomb. He's going for it again. Good God Almighty. OG Nick is getting some he could be severely hurt here but keeps staying on the offense the lock up once more but wait a second Nick still got some fight in him Nick, a BUW original as well. Knows, a, knows how to stay in matches. And Casey sent off the ring apron. Suplex. Elbow to the back. Into the cover. And Nick kicks out at two. What on earth is it going to take for the other team to win? And the running. That was another Claymore. There's a cover. And Jim Boy saving the match this time. And Nick with a few shots to the bread basket. And Nick looking for something big. Oh my god. The cutter. And Keith somehow kicked out at two. You listen to the fans, they're loving it. Tag team wrestling. And Keith hasn't got a clue where he is. Snake eyes, down he goes. Jim Boy sitting on the top rope. Just admiring the handiwork. But he gets caught. Net breaker. On to the back of the head. Casey back in off the tag. And Casey with a defensive work there. Into the fireman's carry. Snake eyes to Jim Boy. What is he thinking? What is Casey doing? Not sure what this is all about. Gets caught, side rushing, leg sweep. Now Jim Boy tags in. OG Nick. And he gets caught with a couple of clubbing blows there. 
keeping off the tag once more. Oh, Claymore again. This could do it. And Jim Boy. And that's why the OG boys have been so successful in their careers. And why they're former two-time tag team champions. And Keith getting caught again in the bread basket. Head first off the turnbuckle. Scoop slam. And Nick calling Keith to his feet. Double axe handle. Jim Boy in off the tag. Keith back up. Oh! Kick to the knee. Hung up on the top rope. And Jim Boy perhaps looking to end it right here. Kick to the gut. The BFT. Blood force trauma. And Casey in with the save. DDT. Casey gets taken out. Jim Boy top rope with the elbow drop. In comes Nick. Irish rip into the corner. Scoop slam. Nick top rope again. Calling. And there is a double axe handle once more. There's a tag to Jim Boy. And there goes Casey off the ring apron. Oh, the net breaker. And a drop kick to the back. Oh, Jim Boy in trouble. Power bomb. Now keep talking a little bit of smack to Jim Boy. And the clothesline connects. The right hand for Emoji Nick who made the tag. Scoop slam. Again, Nick calling Keith to his feet. Nothing but net. That should seal it. It does. And the OG boys, victorious. Here are your winners. Here are your winners of the match. Jim Boy and OG Nick. The OG boys. And that's another big tag team victory for the OG boys. But commiserations to Keith Redfield and Casey Hoyt, who looked pretty decent as a team. Just a losing effort this time around. Great effort by Keith Redfield and Casey Hoyt here tonight. But congratulations to the OG boys, who are victorious once again. Anyway... On to our next contest, guys, and this will be a tag team extreme rules match. And of course, it'll be from the women's division. Anyway, on to our participants. It will be...
Jane Barrett and Yoko Hamada representing Chaos Pact and I'll be taking on the team of Akira and Pinky representing Demons by Design The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules match! And... The Making their way to the ring first. Representing Chaos Pact, Jane Barrett, and Yoko Hamada! Chaos Pact and Demons by Design. No love lost between either of these teams have had their fair share of victories over each other but who will be victorious tonight because it wasn't a great night last week for Chaos Pack Grand Ioki was unable to recapture the Women's World Championship from Kissable Demon in a classic Wrestleverse rematch. But can they get the job done in the Tag Team Extreme Rules match? We are about to find out. And their opponents representing Demons by Design, Pinky and Akira. And Demons by Design, let's say we say, they've been on an absolute roll. Of course, now with the exclusion of Mini Demon. There's just four of them now, but they're just as lethal as ever before. Let's see how they get on in a, an extreme rules environment. And here we go, this... Extreme Rules Tag Team Match is officially underway. So anything goes in this matchup. Weapons can be utilised. And Chaos Pack looking incredible in the opening stages of this match. And Jane Barrett, what's she got there? I think she's got a light tube. We saw that last week on more than a on more than one occasion. And that proved to be lethal. A sit-down spine buster from Akira takes down Barrett. And Pinky now has Yoko in the corner. Clothesline. Gut wrench suplex from Jane to Akira. Look at the power from Pinky. Pinky, who's a Grand Slam champion. And Jane Barrett turning her attention to Pinky. And Jane Barrett and Akira on the, in the ring at the moment. Yoko's got a trash can. Nice amateur takedown from Barrett. Pinky dealing with Yoko on the outside.
Oh, wait. Jane Barrett's got a baseball bat and it's wrapped in barbed wire. Say hello to Barbie, I suppose. Jane Barrett takes Akira to the outside. Penki and Yoko in the ring. And what is Penki? Oh! Shoulder tackle in the corner, not once, but twice. And Penky looking phenomenal here. Samoa drop, and I think she landed on that baseball bat. And now, Akira has gotten the tables. Could it be table time? Snap Dragon. And Yoko with a steel chair misses. Oh, and knee right to the face of Akira who gets taken down. Northern Light suplex the pinky on the outside. Code breaker. Kick to the back of the knee of Jane Barrett. Yoko now throwing her attention to Yoko Hamad. Turning her to her Akira, excuse me. There's a cover. Just the one count. Pinky of a side slam to Barrett on the table. And she throws the baseball bat but misses her target. Lock up. We are deadlocked. Snap suplex. Spear from Akira to, to Barrett. Full Nelson. Dragon suplex. Yoko with the cover just gets a one count. Pinky sent in the corner, clothesline. Pinky rolls to the outside. Akira with the running hip attack to Barrett. Will this be enough? And Yoko with the save. Saves her partner. Snap suplex on the, on the table again. Oh, what is Yoko thinking? Oh, stomp to the elbow. And a clothesline of Pinky. What melee this is. This is just carnage. Double axe handle. Oh, what a shot from Barrett. With that steel chair, launches it right at Pinky, who kicks away Barrett. Yoko, who missed her target. <laughs> Release suplex, and Akira has a door. And the kicks, the strikes, those lethal feet of Barrett. Oh, counter! Akira nearly got the better of Yoko Hamada, that inside cradle. A pin attempt. Chaos packed. Looking for a victory. Doesn't even get a one count. Pinky. Now back on the attack. All four ladies back in the ring. The slap. Oh, wait a second here. Pinky charging into the corner. And there is the knee bar. Kira able to get out of trouble. And what a right hand from, a, from a Kira Takes down Yoko. And a submission. And the referee got taken out by Jane Barrett. A 
As we used to say back in the day, it wouldn't be a BUW show without the referee taking a bump. DDT Dioko. A kick to the gut. Pinky with Barrett. Oh! What on earth did Yo Yoko just crush? Akira. And Akira still able to kick out. Oh, and Pinky dealing with Jane on the outside. A very DDT from Barrett. Oh, wait a minute. Did she use the poison mist? She used the poison mist on Akira. That's in that is just insulting. It is no DQs, but still. Yo Yoko Amada has blinded Akira with that poison mist. Kira kicking off. Yoko Hamada. Kicked in the midsection. And what is Yoko doing here? Exploder suplex. And there's the cover. Will this do it? It will do it. And Chaos Pact have picked up a huge win. Here are your winners representing Chaos Pack, Jane Barrett and Yoko Hermada. But you've got to say that one there was all down to Yoko using the poison mist on Akira to blind her and completely put her off her game. I don't think this rivalry will be done just yet, folks. I can smell one brewing. But anyway, folks, that is going to do it for part two on this week's episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, then do make sure to leave the like for Mike. Hit some comments below, and do make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now we are halfway through this week's show, guys. And we've still got five more big matchups still to come including the next contest where Ninja Soldier, he'll be in action coming up next. Look at a build-up on from his first victory a couple of weeks ago. Can he keep that run going? You'll have to tune in and wait and see to find out. But until then, I will catch you all after this next break.